All right, for practice today, we're working on the Beatles' Blackbird, the correct way to play it. This is my fourth day or fifth day. Don't remember. Um, quick backstory is like I've taught this many years. I mean, it's a finger picking song that a lot of kids like to learn or students like to learn. I say kids a lot, but I kind of try to use that interchangeably like kids or students. Um, and oftentimes, like we've taught it wrong or I've taught it wrong. When I owned the studio, I'd have one sheet from Guitar Pro that was kind of shite. And um, yeah, so John, I think a couple months ago, actually probably two years, three years ago, uh, somebody requested and I was like, hey, we should probably get this written out the right way. Did some research, I uh, actually have a link below to Art of Guitar, he does a really good breakdown of the correct way that Paul McCartney does it. He's seen, and he kind of broke down some live videos, which is kind of fun to see. Like I said, link below, check that one out. Um, and, and Paul McCartney's style on it's kind of interesting. It's a, it's a different approach to finger picking. And a lot of it, well, all of it's played with these two fingers. And anything, um, I'll try to go through this a little bit, but I've done it in the other video, so try not to be too uh, redundant. Repetitive? One of those one of those words. You guys can tell me which one the right one is. Um, but when, when there's two fingers or where there's two notes together, like that 10, 12 that I've highlighted, he's just plucking them. Um, anything that is an end or a number that's on a different string is either a flick of the finger, and you can hear it's my finger now, right? And then that up, though, is, is that. He's very much using his finger as a pick. So you kind of get that really sharp sound, very reminiscent of a pick, and then you get that fleshy sound. Alright, since it's my fourth day, I don't think we're going to do 74 to warm up on it, but maybe like, I don't know, let's try 54, probably a little too slow, but better to make sure I'm doing everything right, and we'll jump right into the verse. So, I'm going to spend like a minute or two on each measure, just to get these ideas in my hands. Oh, as I always forget to mention, if you guys want to support us, uh, become a member at musicbedmeasurespro.com. A single lead guitar user that we're, we're considering this lead guitar, you know, is it? I mean, it's finger picking. It's 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 individual notes played a lot of times. Um, Nine ninety nine a month gets you ten pieces of sheet music, and more importantly, you support us making more content like this, writing more tablature for you. Uh, we kind of pride ourselves on making sure stuff's correct. Actually, I kind of think a fun video down the road would be like taking some of these Guitar Pro ones and playing them out learning how to play them even though they're wrong and different from this and then reviewing this one comparatively to it All right. next measure is that 12 so this would be the two fingers together and then down up and every once in a while i'm going to get like an extra note in there you hear that 12 zero zero one is so thumb uh, thumb up down thumb up down and I'll do a better video of this down the road where I don't have a microphone exactly in the place where my hand is and it's hard to see this finger with this camera set up but it's the setup that works for most things so uh, beat three So where I'm at in the song is really just getting it up to speed. So a lot of what I'm going to do is just those small sections, run through with metronome, next two measures, metronome, next two measures, metronome, just to make sure I'm cleaning everything up because there's a couple of measures I'm a little sloppy on yet. All right, so 54. And three, and four, two, three.
say nothing that. So next two measures, we have this, and I'm playing it. This how I think he'd play it. You know, I saw somebody else play it like that. I think that's much harder for me to do. So, but I am taking that next zero five and making that a down storm. So it's like one and two. review. Alright, we're starting that over. Alright, next measure. We got one and the two E end. Now again, did he purposely put that mute in? It's debatable, but it probably happened by the same reason it's happening with me, right? My first finger's drifting over and touching that other string. And we don't want that to be open anyway, so it makes a lot of sense. But, you know, I, I won't be offended if somebody plays this different. All right, so from the those two measures... such a struggle for me today. Look at this. This is this is not going well for me. Uh, let's try that again. There we go. Let's try that with metronome. So I'm rushing that. So I got one and two and three. Sometimes it's hard for me to be consistent on the zero five versus just zero. Zero seven, just zero. Seems to be better now. Okay. All right. Again with metronome. Four and.
I think that's good enough. Otherwise, you know, I'm going to spend all my practice time just making that better, and that'll be pointless. Good about those two. And three and four and Next to goes much quicker on day four, doesn't it? All right, we got this. So this one gets me a little bit too. You know, just slight, slight enough change. So let's just work on this one for a minute without metronome. right now. Okay, let's go to the next one. it's worth time like you can see me struggling right it's worth time to just rehash this rehash this try to find the right moment movement movement I'm really listening because obviously I'm not looking down at my hands all the time. If I do look down, I'm a little bit more consistent. Um, and I apologize that this both the microphone and my hand are in the way of seeing my right hand. But for now, it is what it is. Um, Got to make sure I get to the fourth string on that G. with the loop. 
almost done with this whole section. All right, guys. Again, just the different on that A7, the different arrangement of the notes. Um, it's very similar. It's similar enough to the G slash B that we just did in the other measure, but different enough at the same time. Spend a little time on these two. three measures. So let's divide um, this verse in half. So I don't know exactly where that is. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven if I counted right, but I probably didn't. One, two. <laughs> um, let's find a natural spot or maybe half the screen. Yeah, let's do that. So go all the way to that C minor. Just to kind of like, I don't know. I don't, I don't want to have to think too hard. I want to make it easy for myself, so yeah. All right, that's nice. And I kind of want to get some repetition down at this tempo, and then in the next 20 minutes that I have, just push push the tempo quite a bit. So do like four or five times, see if there's any places I need to focus on just by itself, and go from there. And three and four and... Second half, same exact idea. I think I did 
there's crap did that wrong two, one, two, and four and Clearly can't sight read that quickly. Two. I noticed that I think as I'll have to worry about as I get up to speed I'm always leaving the chord a little too early I'm not sustaining any of these notes I'm always like one and or one and two E and see that 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 drift now part of that's gonna get solved by just going faster I'm not I'm gonna be forced to stay in the chord longer it's gonna be easier for me to just do that naturally just something to think about it, it could sound a lot more sustained legato if I Obviously exaggerating it, but you can hear the difference in tone. So, all right, those four, those five, or how many measures that is would be. thing together right whole thing is relative right the whole first verse and then uh, actually let's speed it up to 50 let's do 58 so obviously there's one transition that I'll have to think about right because I have to sight read and there was a break between the C C minor and G slash B measure so we'll see, we'll see how I do two three four and Some gross mistakes there, but we'll live with it. Uh, let's go to 62. I have band practice in like 10 minutes, so band drinking practice and then actual practice. So I gotta get this as far as I can get it. Three, four, and.
<laughs> hey, Randy, uh, I can play a lot. I just can't play it well. I think that's one thing that we noticed. And thank you. I get compliments on the Taylor a lot. Uh, it's one of my favorite guitars. It was br the funny thing is, so I, I was not, I'm not nice to my gear at all. And this was rolling around in my car for a while. Like I would take it when I'd go teach students back in the day. And I had a, uh, a big QSC 15 inch speaker at the same time back in the car. And uh, at one point, I opened the case up, and there was a crack all the way down here. And I was like, you, you idiot. This has got to be nicer to your gear. Um, finally, after like four years, I just waited forever to get it repaired. But after like four years, I got it repaired. I'm like, man, I, what, what a dumb decision to not get that repaired right away. I love this guitar. It's great sounding. Records nice all the time. So... Randy, Randy, we are going to get to the place where I play everything well. Right now, I play everything adjacent. One, two, three, four. So we're just gonna keep speeding it up and most likely my bandmate will be late anyway. So let's go to 70. I think I ended last on 74. So I'm really, 74 to 95 seems like a big distance. And that last playthrough other than a couple rushes was pretty nice. Two, three, four. <laughs> I'm just going to keep going faster, see if I can get to 95, and then move on. Two, three, four. Again, ideally, like, I wouldn't be in a rush the last five minutes of doing these, and I started a little bit late. Ideally, I would take my time and do 70, 75, like, four, four times. Sometimes I do them a little too long, too many times, but this is not the ideal scenario. Three, four. <laughs> hear me like slaughter the, the the notes that I'm bad at uh, let's go 86 but I'm kind of like the nice thing is tomorrow like I can clean that up you know be okay with a little bit of slop today tomorrow I'll get it faster three four <laughs> So for fun, uh, yeah, let's go 95. And we're gonna try to do a couple 95s before I actually, actually, actually out of time. I need to be there in six minutes, but it's two minutes, two minute drive from here. 
and and I'm gonna be okay. There's some bad notes. There's some bad measures. We'll get those eventually. We can pick those up tomorrow. And sometimes it's just really nice to do um, to push yourself. And and quite often I think in, in like we play what we're comfortable with and we play that over and over again. And we don't go to stuff that's challenging us. And, and I'm in that weird state of like, I only like to play challenging stuff and the stuff that I'm not good at, which it's in some ways I figure everything. Um, as Randy and I have chatted before, it's a lot about like this discipline of getting better. I've taught for years and got really good at teaching. Like I can look at this and get a, a really good rough idea of how to play this, but I want to play at a high level too. And I, I, saw, I saw my students continually get better and better. And I'm like, oh, you worked on this for a full week. I've only touched this since I've seen you last. So this is kind of what's going on. Well, I mean, uh, I started where you started, Randy. Chords, chord, chord sheet music and stuff like that. You know, and my piano reading isn't that great. Um, I'm probably, hopefully, I, I hope to wrap this song up. I'm actually trying to finish projects for once. Um, I'm going to actually get to the place where I can play and sing this song. And I think that'll be a lot of fun. Um, finishing some stuff and and then I have to go back to piano which really really you see how bad of a sight reader I am when it comes to mm. that I sit there and just go oh, that's an E okay and you know it's piecing that thing together all right full speed kind of terrible but it was the idea of it for sure i just needed to catch my breath and pause for one hot second um if you go back to the first one i'll kind of do a compilation video of this one too because it's also kind of another goal of mine um you're gonna quickly see like when i first started at 44 i played like i just played that at uh oh randy you're too kind it was, it was, per it was uh, perfect adjacent it'll get perfect um Randy's a cool guy. He's, he's nice to me. That's why I think he, that's not the only reason he's cool. He plays drums. He plays guitar. Things I like. So be okay with being sloppy. And then um, I agree. It was dang close. It was dang close. You, but, but that's the point, though. You have to practice very finite and perfect for like four or five days in a row. And then push yourself, push yourself, push yourself. It's doing the sprints. And doing those sprints pay off dividends. So... Which, which, you know, you'll see in the next two days of me hitting this, like that slop will slowly go away and, and that tension will too, right? Like right now I'm like thinking too much. I'm just really gripping down. That stuff will go away. It'll go away on all instruments. And I think there's huge dividends, uh, Randy and I will both agree, of playing guitar, playing drums, going back and forth just changes your brain a little bit. take this one off and I'm gonna do one more and then I'm gonna call it a night and then you can probably hear it needs a lot of cleanup especially near that end that end I fall apart I'm only gonna be two minutes late one two one two three four We gotta do one more because that was not going well. Two, three, four. So 
I will definitely say like one four times ago where Randy said it was perfect was the best. Like there was a little bit of slop at the end, but overall not bad. So the main thing I need to work on is those last four, last three measures um, and probably probably a slower tempo and just really hit them hard tomorrow. Maybe like 30 minutes of just those measures and then put it back together. But we know 95 is possible. It's in the range of possibilities. All right. You guys have a good night, Randy. Good to hear from you as always. And I'm going to go have some pizza and some beer. And I hope you guys do as well.